I finally left Western Express. Congrats on being approved to be a driver trainer. You need to complete the online training. So check this out. I got another video for you guys that came across my desk. Shout out to the subscriber to always send me the crazy stuff. I got this via my message in TikTok, right? So actually I got two videos dealing with the same company, right? Uh, one driver right here that we're going to listen to, he chronicles his journey of leaving Western Express after being downgraded from making about $1,500 a week all the way down to like $500 after his kid was born. That's crazy. On a dedicated route, you was getting that good $1,500 and all of a sudden you downgraded to like $500? Who does that? Five to $600 paychecks every week just to grind it out so that he can get his experience to move on to the next company. The next company that he jumped ship to is JB Hunt. Shout out to JB Hunt for giving this young man his uh, opportunity because making about five to six hundred dollars a week with a brand new kid and responsibilities isn't going to work as a truck driver. Now, I always say definitely get your experience. Don't worry about the money, but the money will come. But brother man was already making the money. Western Express. He was already making the money. He was already making fifteen hundred dollars. And he got downgraded from 15 down to five cents. And he had to grind out the rest of the time there so he can get his experience up so he can get back to making 15 to whatever the amount of money that he was making. That's crazy. Let's get into it and listen to what he had to say. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. <sighs> I finally left Western Express. I don't know where I'm at. So y'all wanna know how this came about? Hmm. I got a story for you. When I was working at Western Express, my wife Cache was pregnant with our new baby creation and I was making some decent money because they had me going on a local route where I was making around uh, 900 to 1500 a week the day that my son is born they cut my paycheck from 1500 to 500 meaning i would have to do double the work in order to get the paycheck that i desire i tried immediately to quit and go to another company but i didn't have enough experience so i had to grind out on 500 dollars paychecks 600 dollars paychecks every single week until I got a year. I was in April. Now, I just recently got my year and guess who called me back? Yeah, they allowed me in. They said I got my experience. I just need to get my hazmat within 90 days and I get to stay on with the company. Yeah, we did it. So yeah, that's what I'm driving. No longer having to travel OD far. I also wanna get to the pay guys, but let me give you about a week before I actually make the pay video because I want to make sure that I show you exactly how far I came from my journey from, you know, my ex. I call it, I, I call it my ex now. I don't even like to say the name even though there's a truck right in front of me. But I just wanted to say thank you. I'm finally able to do what I got to do. I'm finally able to have what I need. And I, I, I just couldn't thank y'all enough, you know? So, yeah, this is the start of a brand new journey. My son is here and yeah, I got a whole lot of stuff ready to tell y'all. I got a whole nother chapter to my life that I'm ready to unfold. So, you rocking with me, you rocking with me. I'll see y'all in the next one, later. Wow, I, I wanna know from you guys. He stayed and grinded out. Would you would have stayed after being downgraded from $1,500 to $500? I mean, he did stay because he really didn't have the experience. But I'm just saying, if you guys was on a dedicated route, making that kind of money, 15 
$1,600 paychecks. And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, you got downgraded to like, to like a thousand to like $500. Would you continue to stay with that company? I know I wouldn't, but I'm just saying. So we about to jump in to another driver that just recently started with Western Express, maybe about six or seven months ago. Now he's a lease op and he's a trainer. Western Express just put him on and certified him as a certified trainer with the company with only about six to seven months of experience. Now, let me ask you guys this. Is six to seven months of experience as a brand new driver, is that enough time to really train some new driver in the company? Now, I know I was asked plenty of times when I was with US Express at about my six or seven month mark to come in and try to train somebody. And I told them, as I still stand on this today, that I'm the blind leading the blind. I really can't say that I'm a good trainer to train somebody with only six to seven months of experience. I'm still learning myself. I'm only out here for seven months. I'm brand new. I'm still getting the feel. I'm still trying to back right. I'm still trying to still trying to get my footing. How am I going to train somebody that I'm still learning? I don't get it. I don't understand it. But hey, congratulations to the young man for being a, a certified trainer uh, with Western Express. Hopefully oh, they, they are taking care of him and he's able to to train the next generation of drivers over at Western Express. But I'm just curious to know, guys, is that really enough time to properly train the next generation of drivers? Let's hear his account of what's going on. Hold on. Look, y'all, I'm doing my load. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm doing my load. I'm just dropping a look. That's what, that's what it say. Congrats on being approved to be a driver trainer. You need to complete the online training. Made it, y'all. 90 days at Western. I'm already a trainer. 90 days. 90 days in and already a trainer for Western Express, man. Congratulations to this young man uh, for being the trainer. Uh, majority of their drivers over there that are trainers are lease operators. Now, I just had a lease operator as a trainer that trained me. It didn't go well because all he did was complain about the money and the money that he wasn't getting but he was also saying the money that he was making off of me I mean, he would literally show me a paycheck that all the miles is going to him he's getting paid for me to be seated in the truck and he would have got paid when i would have upgrade but unfortunately for us he did not last too long as a trainer or as a driver with the company as we got back to tunnel hill he decided to part ways with the company and i went on with my next driver trainer which fun fact i learned more from him in a week did i did i learn from maybe the two or three weeks that i was with the first non trainer okay but congratulations to this young man for rocking it out with uh, western express and again i i hope he's able to give good proper training for the next generation of drivers that's coming over at western express